Hey guys, welcome to another RC video. Uh, I will be doing a review of the new Ansman Racing Virus 2.0. And uh, that's pretty much what it looks like. Um, I'll be opening the box and showing you everything that uh, comes inside it and everything else in uh, a minute. But I'll quickly tell you about this. It's a uh, 1 8 scale, uh, it's four wheel drive. Um, according to the box, it does about 80 kilometres an hour. But that's to be seen, we're not too sure, depending on the fuel we obviously use um, and the set we have. Um, it's, uh, it's almost ready to run, as you can see there. It comes with its um, controller, which is an Ansman W6 controller, which is included in the box. Um, a little symbol here. Basically everything's all ball raced, which is the engine, all the bearings, are all pre-fitted in the wheels and all the other working uh, parts inside. Uh, it's all pre-painted with all the um, decals already fitted as you can basically whatever you see here is what you're going to get inside the box I haven't actually looked inside here yet so you'll be seeing it the same time as I will and obviously it's a 2 point Ansman um, force engine and it's uh, 2.4 gigahertz as well uh, but let's open it up and uh, actually have a look inside uh, what the vehicle looks like now I believe we just slip this off yeah, there we go yeah, the uh, box is a little bit damaged, but this is how it came. It didn't actually come in a uh, wooden box, a uh, cardboard box like they normally do. Um, where's the seal? Ah, oh, there it is. Well, give me two secs, just break the seal. Yeah, that'll do. There we go. Right, I'll turn around this way so you get the set. And uh, yeah, this is basically. Wow, it's uh, quite packed actually, and uh, I don't know if you can see it okay, that's the actual vehicle. Um, I presume, yeah, there's the instructions. It did say on the box as well that uh, it comes with like shims. Um, I'll do a closer look at it in the video in a minute, I'll come and grab the camera. But uh, basically this is to stop the slack and that in the drive shafts. Uh, we've got a book here for the Ansman Racing um, yeah, W6 controller. Um, I presume all inside is uh, the voltages, uh, pre use checks. Um, yeah, and it's got all the displays. Obviously, it's a full LCD display. I'll show you in a little bit what it does. Um, and obviously, I'm going to have to read this a little bit later before um, I actually use the vehicle. Um, right, let's put that one side. Um, looks like in here, yeah, this is for um, the setup tools for your failsafe um, because the uh, receiver that's inside, which is a W5 receiver, uh, three channel, um, has a inbuilt failsafe and this is just a setup tool. <coughs> what else we get? Um, yeah, uh, aerial lead for your 2.4, which is inside there. Um, yeah, and you get an Amsman book. Um, I think it's, this is, I think, it's when you assemble it yourself. It's like when you, obviously, if you're like myself, when you uh, use your vehicles or planes uh, or anything like that, obviously, when it gets dirty, you're going to want to take it apart and give it a really good clean. And I presume these are what, yeah, this is everything step by step instructions, quite comprehensive as well. Everything's numbered. Um, I can see on some of these parts they've actually got numbers written on them. So you match them up with the numbers on here. Um, and it's just a, basically a step by step uh, build or dismantle depending on what you're doing but so uh, yeah as you can see it's all there it tells you about the engine how the engine fits uh, this one's already pre-installed so that's pretty good um, how to do the size and we come to this part which is your parts list um, you know where, where you know in case, in case you're breaking the thing hope to god you don't but obviously we've I'll see buggers with jumps and things that it's going to happen at some point but yeah everything's all written down there anyway um, what you need as you can see I've actually been on the main uh, Ansman site and I've actually bought uh, a couple of upgrades already for it, um, aluminium upgrades from the plastic. Uh, a lot of them is still on order because they haven't got them in stock because they're quite popular. Uh, from Ansman Direct, it's basically instructions on how to use the vehicle for the first time. Uh, it is an idiot's guide, if you already know what you're doing, um, this pretty much goes over what you should already know. But it's worth seeing anyway, because obviously each manufacturer has different settings for their engines and uh, radio going at. But it's basically telling you about uh, the types of fuel 
to use to run in and the glow plugs, um, how to start it, um, how to turn it off, um, or it obviously tells you when to turn your transmitter on and off as well as the vehicle, uh, and maintenance about um, what to do basically to set it up with, uh, how can I say, your mixture, your lean or your, your maximum minimum RPM as well as um, oiling your air filter and that. There's also got here about the warranty, uh, about what's covered uh, and what's not covered in the wire the warranty and that as well. And that's that. And here, I presume, uh, this is your guarantee. I'm not sure, it's actually not in English. Um, I think that's where you, it's either guarantee this, where you put your thing there, or it's a service interval form, you know, where you take it in to get your service. I am not 100%, but I actually don't speak German, I think. German, anyone? German? Anyway, if you put in the comments, let us know if it is or not. I can use a translator then. Anyway, let's put it all back so I don't go missing. Sorry if I sneeze a little bit, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment. Right, let's put all that back. Okay. Oh, yeah, just also to know, I'm going to be doing quite a lot of videos uh, with this. Um, you know, set it up. Uh, starting it for the first time, running in, uh, upgrades, um, and any other parts that I've got, uh, as well as fuel, um, and you know, any other thing comes, normally comes with RC vehicles and that, uh, which we'll be following after this video. So keep tuned. Anyway, let's get this out. As I said, I'll get the camera in a minute and I'll uh, give you a nice uh, close-up view of the vehicle. But, you are the same as me, you've seen this same time as I have. Um, that is the vehicle, the big block. Uh, there's three different colour schemes. You've got like a, a dark green here, uh, and black, uh, or blue, sorry, blue and black, uh, which is the uh, kit version. Uh, no engine, no radio gear, and it's everything's in nuts and bolts in plastic bags, and you have to build a whole model yourself. That is what I wanted to do, but to buy the engine and the radio gear separate, and to get a new body to get this colour scheme, it would have worked out an extra hundred odd pounds, and I couldn't really afford that. But uh, yeah, there's the video. Uh, sorry, the uh, the vehicle. Everything's all nicely done, all uh, nicely painted and decals. Um, it's actually a very, very nice clear model, uh, you know. But this is only a, a preview, basically, of the box. I'll be doing another video shortly with the actual looks at the car. But let's put this car to one side for a minute. Let's put it down there. Okay, what else do we get in the box? Anything at the bottom? No. I presume, yeah, this would be your uh, radio gear. Oh. How do we get this out? Hold on, let's bend the box. Oh, there we go. Let's put it back. I don't know how it goes back together again. Oh, wow. That's cool. Sorry, I'm just looking myself. Trouble is, pictures only show you so much. Until you actually physically get it in your hands, you don't know what, the, uh, what it feels like and the uh, quality of it. But yeah, that's um, really nice. See, bigger LCD screen there. I'll be doing obviously a review of the actual control as well. Uh, we have 2.4 gigs. Um, showing what each individual thing does, buttons, uh, what's on there. Because obviously there's, there's loads of buttons everywhere, as you can see. Um, you've got three sets there. You've uh, got another one there. You've got all these here. Um, you've got things for sockets there. I have no idea what goes in there. Power, I presume, to recharge it. But uh, yeah, there's the um, 2.5 gigs radio set. And that is uh, everything you get in the box. Um, it's an RTR. But anyway, thanks for um, checking out my video. Um, I hope it gives you a little bit more insight of what you get uh, when you buy the Ansman vehicles. But before you to make your mind up, if you specifically like this vehicle or not, what I'll do is I'll do another video in a minute, taking the cover off um, and showing you what's inside. But uh, yeah, thanks for viewing the video and I'll see you shortly.